Yep, yeah, this was just delivered. Okay, so package number one. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, it's like Christmas. Why doesn't it open up? What is going on? Casey style. All right, the RX 570. Um, what's in there? Let's put this. This is a big one. Yeah, it's a. Yeah, it can. All right, so. And. Oh, this is a short one. All right. Yeah, this is quite short though. This is the active um, Thunderbolt cable. I might have to get a longer version of that. Yep. <laughs> This is quite too short. And of course you get the power cable. So this is the box itself. Uh, we will put the graphics card in there in a minute. I did go for the 350 watts version because that's what Apple is using in their official eGPU kit. Let's see if that works with the 570. This, this is the overclocked version, so my, my, we will see. Yeah, this is the box. It's quite massive. And it seems to be uh, two less. One connection here, the Thunderbolt connection, and that's it. Yeah, this is nice. It's two less. And then just pop it out, right? Yeah. Uh, that's it and we have a we have uh, zip ties in there for like cable management and another um, screw there and then we have the card here so first things first let's see if the power connection actually is all right let's find ah uh, damn there you go we have an eight pin and a six pin let's see if this works as you can see here there is a second two pin um, connection so it might actually work we will try this this is a good experiment uh, if this card that needs an 8-pin and a 6-pin actually works. Okay, putting on some ESD uh, gloves just to safely install the... Um, now it's not toolless anymore. Safely install the electronics, always good. Not to shorten out the um, electronics before even using them. Yeah, there goes the screw. And the card is in there. This seems to work. And now, Cables. Yeah, it seems to. I mean, uh, this fits right in, right? This uh, kind of fits in there. So this should work. Fingers crossed that the power supply is enough. I mean, in the specs, this card, they say it needs less than uh, 200 watts for power consumption. This is a 350 watts power supply. Let's see if it works. All right, moment of truth. Um, I have this box connected to power. The MacBook Pro is also on power and the Thunderbolt cable, which is really short. I have to get another longer one because this just fits right to the unit itself. So let's power on the um, yeah, let's power on the box itself. Nothing really happens. 
think I have to power the MacBook Pro as well. There you go. Now the unit itself lights up and also carefully the, um, the GPU itself also close. That's a good sign. It seems the power does uh, is enough. All right. Logging in. All right, so this is now the unit connected to the MacBook Pro. I have a tool here that the graphics card actually shows up, even though um, they don't, uh, doesn't really say which card it is. Yeah, here it does uh, show the original card that's in there, because this always shows the main screen uh, graphics card. Yeah, and there is the AMD R9. It doesn't recognize the card itself. But now we have to see, I connect a second display if this works. I have a Dell screen over here. That's usually connected to the A7R that is this uh, recording this. So I get an HDMI connection. Let's see if it works. Yep, and the second screen shows up. And now the trick is um, to actually change the main display. Therefore, the arrangement. Um, therefore, um, the system changes the main graphics card that does all the uh, GPU stuff. You can do that with um, going to system preferences, display arrangement, and then change uh, this bar, which is the, the, the menu bar, so to speak, and switch that to the second screen, in this case, a Dell 2711, an old school 27 screen. And now in the, about my Mac, it should say, yep, and now it says AMD R9. Um, so this is good. Uh, now this card should do the heavy lifting. Uh, opening up Final Cut 10. Let's see if this does anything to the system. At least it opens up, that's good. All right, um, let's do this. I will switch to um, the desktop, we'll set up everything nice there and might do a screen recording there. So far, the card seems to work at least. Um, I get an HDMI out. <clears throat> the, the MacBook Pro does recognize the system, the unit itself. It says there's an external GPU connected. So, um, switching to the desktop. Hey folks, so I'm back on the Mac and by the way, I'm running 10.13.1. So the latest build that should um, support eGPU somehow. And it seemed to work actually kind of nice. And now I have a quick little, just a random test project here. This is 1080p and I have also, this is the 4K version actually of the project. Just two clips uh, shot with my Phantom 4 because that is an intense codec for the uh, machine. Uh, so I, am, I actually have like just this little edit going and I have like Colorista on the on an adjustment layer. And I have to say so far, let's see temperature. Yeah, the performance of the external card is quite big. And now that I switched the um, screen flow to this screen that is also on uh, the external card, now the processing power of the internal card uh, is gone. So as you can see now, the external card is used for all the stuff. And But this performance with the Colorista on a 
unrendered clip 4K was not possible before I had the external card. So really, really nice performance boost in FCP 10. Um, I really like that. Now I did test Premiere Pro CC 2018 and uh, it's still bad, 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 bad. Um, this 4K stuff comes from an SSD and I, let's open this up. Now what I tested is um, Premiere, when you have the external device on, you have to select Metal, not OpenCL. Um, because when you select OpenCL with the external unit, Premiere does crash with a serious problem. Um, so let's see if this actually still works. Yeah, so I just a quick little project, nothing, nothing fancy. Same clips from the same drive from the SSD and um, even at half, let's switch to like, yeah, and let's do a sequence and my usual ProRes sequence. This is a 1080p just so um, yeah and I have the external monitor on okay that's that's right it does show with metal on with uh, OpenCL it actually crashes so I have quarter resolution and this is playback I mean I could maybe I do shut off the transmit but still nothing and it uses the external card as you can see right so um this is just poor i'm not quite sure what happens here i mean this is okay this is this is really uh, 4k footage from an from an dji um is hard to process i think i know um, I, I read about that but i mean you saw it in um in final cut 10 right you saw the performance even with uh, but not yeah this this makes no sense set to frame size i mean i'm quarter resolution now the, this works okay ish The, f the fan noise you hear is actually from the MacBook, not from the external card. So, yeah, you can't see. Yeah, this, this is not optimized at all. Set to frame size. I mean, quarter resolution, it, it kind of does okay. But then again, if you jump like frame, no, this is the same bad performance like before. This doesn't really. Yeah. So as you can see, performance is quite bad still. Even with the external card, now the fan of the external card kicks in. So this is a sign that the card is actually in use. As you can see, processing, yeah. Yeah, so for now, I, uh, it's still the bad performance with Premiere Pro on the MacBook Pro. Um, even with an external card that seemed to get used by the system. Anyways, I'm happy with the performance bump in Final Cut, especially when I have like stuff on it, color correction and stuff like that. I can't wait for the new um, Final Cut 10.4 to come out, maybe there is even more performance um, increase with this card and the external housing and I can't wait to use the new color tools because then I don't need Colorista and maybe then performance is even better. Anyways, this was a long chaotic video but I wanted to try this out because all the, the, the latest videos about the external graphics are like two months old and this is the latest update. I will keep you updated with the next update, maybe as soon as 1080, uh, the, the new version of Final Cut 10, the 10.4 comes out. 
if performance is actually better and I might update or have something after this <laughs> when the uh, RX 580 actually does more for this unit. Um, yeah, let's keep you updated guys. Sorry for the chaotic video and uh, might be a bit hard to watch. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, see ya, peace.